Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to go from one four-leaf clover to many four-leaf clovers. Alright, let's get started. Hi everybody. Okay, so today we are going to go and we are going to bring in our four-leaf clover that we started off with. Let's get it out here. Nope we want. I think it's this one. Here we go. All right. So we have our four leaf clover, but we want to make multiples on our hoop. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to group this whole pattern together. And how we do that, go ahead and left click. We're going to bring a square out go over our whole pattern, okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to group it, all right? Once it's grouped together, we know now that we can go ahead and we can move this pattern all together at once, okay? Let's go ahead and we'll put it back. Now what we want to do is we want to select the frame size that we want to use in order to get as many four leaf clovers as we can. Now, one of the things that you have to remember is your stabilizer. How well your stabilizer is going to fit in that hoop. You don't want to use such a big hoop that you're going to have to really like watch how you're overlapping your stabilizer, okay? The stabilizer I used was 15 inches wide, so it fit really good in a nine and a half by nine and a half hoop. Now, you may be using a five by seven hoop, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change my hoop size to nine and a half by nine and a half, all right? Once I've done that, I can go ahead and I can move this clover up to the edge just like that because it's all grouped together and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate it four times just like this by hitting the duplicate. One more, there we go. Now I have five so I can go ahead at this point and rearrange these in the hoop just like this and since we've grouped them all together they're gonna stay together okay and you'll have to be kind of careful you know make sure you're not going out of the edge when you do it there we go we just well we're gonna put that one there for now so I can move this other one And you don't want your four leaf clovers to be touching, okay? Um, especially once you start sewing them out. So we're gonna move these over some so we can get them in. I don't want them to be, I'm trying to keep just a little bit of room. There we go. A little bit of room on the bottom and the sides, okay? So you, you might have to play around with it to get it to be exactly where you want it. Okay, there we go. And then we can move this one down a little bit so nothing is touching. Okay. That one's kind of out. And like I said, you, you are going to have to play around with it just to make sure that all your edges are inside of that hoop. This one's actually looking pretty good. And if you have to, you may have to come in here and turn it just a little, okay? might have to turn it just a little 
so that we can get it in there. There we go. That's much better. So now I, I'm going to be able to move this one over just a little bit and move it back a little till I get it just right. And it keeps jumping on me. But you kind of understand what I'm talking about. You got to play around with it, okay? Um, let's move it up a little. There. Now that's perfect, okay? I have all my edges in. This one's a little bit, it's touching, but it's still in. Um, we'll move this one down just a little bit. There we go. Okay. And you got to play with it. There's, you know, it's a learning experience. So you got to play around. All right. So now I have them all in here. Okay. Next, what I want to do, if you look over on the left side, I am doing one by one. Okay. I've got my placement stitch, my tack down stitch, then it's going to do the letters, then it's going to do my satin stitch, tack down, it's going to do one by one. I don't want that, okay? I want to be able to do all my tack down stitches first, then I want to do all my placement sti stitches. Oh, I got that backwards, sorry. I want to do my placement stitches first, okay? Then I want to be able to lay my fabric down then do my tack down and then I can go ahead and cut all the way around the edges and then do my lettering and then my satin stitch all right so we're going to group all of these together all right because if you look at the bottom I'm changing colors over and over and over again and I don't want to have to do that so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to bring my square in again and I'm going to do it all the way around, okay? Then I can go up here and group, just like this, group them together. Once I have them grouped together, this icon right here, it optimizes your sewing order, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and watch what happens. Voila! All right, so now I have all my placement stitches just like this. Next, I have all my tack down stitches. So once I put my fabric down, all of my tack down stitches, it's going to go all the way around. Then I can go ahead and I can do all my lettering. And at the very end, I will have all of my satin stitches to finish off my clover okay one thing you want to remember though even if you are going to use like I only have two colors so I'm going to load this first color which is a gold but I want to have these two the placement stitch and the tack down stitches different colors okay even though it's going to sew out as gold I want it to stop before I do that tack down stitch. So my placement stitch is going to be a different color. All right. Once you are done with that, now that we have our sewing order the way we need it, if you look at the bottom, this is going to be my placement stitch. This is going to be my tack down stitch. Then we're going to go ahead and do the lettering. And then we're going to go ahead and do the satin stitch. And that is how you are going to be able to do multiples from PE11. Then we can go ahead and send it or put it on a USB and take it over to the machine. Okay? Now stay tuned and I will show you how to also do this on the Brother Luminaire. All right? I'll be back in a second. Hi, everybody. We are over at the sewing machine. Okay, so this is the Brother Luminaire. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my design. Okay. As you can see, and I don't know how well you can see it, there is actually a four by four grid or frame around the design. But I want to do multiple designs. And I also want to see my frame. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here into our instruction template here. I'm going to change my frame to nine and a half by nine and a half because that's the one I'm going to use. And I'm also going to change the background. Okay, right now it's at a one inch grid. I don't want to have anything on there because now it is easier to see the frame, okay? Once I have that done, I can go ahead and I can move my design up there. And remember, you're going to keep a little bit open on the edges. So right about there, okay? Now I want to add four more to that. So I'm going to hit edit. And I'm going to hit the icon that has a square outside of a square. And I'm going to hit it three more times. There we go. So now I can take my designs and move them on, move them within the frame. Each one, just like this. And one more. Okay. So we're going to move these around. And just like in PE11, you've got to play around with it. Okay. Because we want those to be in the frame. And you can tell up here at the very top if you're still within your frame. If I move this out just a little bit, okay, it's going to change frame size. So you need to be aware of that. Keep it within those lines. All right, that one's in. Move this one down just a little bit. Okay. This one we can move up here. <laughs> Excuse me. And we're going to turn this one, just like we did, this little red dot up here. If I grab a hold of that, I can turn my design. That way I can make it fit in just a little bit better without touching the other designs. There we go. So I've got all my four leaf clovers in the frame, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and hit embroidery. But do you notice I'm sewing out my placement line, my tack down line in each one, okay? Which is gonna take me a lot of time switching threads. So what I wanna do is I wanna go into layout and I want to go to the three spools. I'm going to click on that and I've just optimized my sewing order. Okay. So the red indicates that that is going to be all my placement lines. The blue indicates that is going to be my tack down line. And then I've got all my lettering and my satin stitch and at this point, you can keep the gold, but because we've got different colors for the placement line and the tack down line, your machine is going to stop, okay? And that's going to give you that indication, hey, this is what I need to do. I've got to put my fabric down. My placement line is down. All right. So if that has helped you today, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button so that YouTube will refer this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. 
All right, have a great day and happy stitching.